Eric Williamson. Uh, I'm in finite math right now with the Masiasco. My name is Esperanza Hernandez, and I've been living here in Victoria for about nine years now. Well, it started off pretty rough. I mean, I, I kind of went in there just expecting to, you know, just do my work in the class and just kind of go, you know, to class and you know, I'd be fine and everything. Um, I was rusty. I have not had a math class in several years. And therefore, I knew I was not going to be able to follow um, as any other, uh, perhaps another student. Uh, the first test came and then I really did bad on it. You know, it failed it pretty bad. So that's when I knew that I had to turn things around and, you know, I wasn't just going to drop the class or anything like that. And, uh, just started going to her office hours a lot and that's what really helped out. The lot. first classes started and um, it was hard for me to follow. Um, taking notes and uh, keeping up uh, with the instructor, it, it was hard for me. I found that within the first or, or second class I attended. Whenever I knew I needed to get help, it was after the first uh, exam. I have thought I have done the right things to prepare. I went over my notes. Um, I went to the tutoring center even to do my homework assignments. But whenever I did that test and I did not pass, I knew I had to do something either more or I had to do something different. Because what I did at the beginning, it quite did not give me the result I wanted. Um, Whenever it was the first class, I remember uh, my professor telling me for some students it was not going to be easy. Um, and therefore that kind of just, I took that in consideration, um, but I did felt overwhelmed. Um, I knew that I was going to have to work hard um, in order to get um, the concepts and the material that it was going to be presented throughout the semester. I went to the tutoring center every now and then, but I really found that going to her office would help me a lot more, you know, personally. You know, I, I don't know, for other people, the tutoring center might be a better environment, but for me, I learned a lot more, I think, going to her office. And I originally started going to her office every, you know, once a week, twice a week, and then pretty much every day. I had classes every day, so I'd just stop in at her hours and just, you know, work on whatever I had problems with or, you know, we'd look up the homework and things like that. Work, she has a whiteboard on the wall and we'll work out problems there so you actually get to, you know, kind of hands on. Sometimes it got a little hectic, especially around the test time, you know, on, on the third and fourth, you know, the other tests we had in the class, more students would come in there and need help. So sometimes it got pretty crowded, but normally it was, me and maybe two, two, three other people, and some of them were in my class, so it was kind of nice to, you know, they might be having the same problems I was. Um, I went ahead and I went ahead and I visited my professor and got help from her, um, and that helped very, very much. I don't know, I just figured to stick with it, you know, I had to get it done sometime, so you got to put your time in and you, know, you get what you put in to it so I was going to put my time in and that was the most I've ever studied for a class was for that algebra class I had never you know on my other classes I'm, I did all right but I had never studied as much as I did then and it really helped out so if I had done that from the beginning I probably would have made a much better grade in the class you know I still passed it pretty good but I might have gotten an A or something like that in the class if I had done that from the very beginning. I knew dropping the course, it was not an option for me. Um, I wanted to persevere and make sure that I completed um, my class. Uh, therefore, I went ahead and I went with my professor again. I asked her what needed to be done. Um, and I made sure that instead of focusing on the problems and focusing on what I couldn't do, um, I went ahead and I focused more on how to become successful. What did I need it to do? Uh, for the finite math this semester I'm going to, you know, I've already been to our office the first day. I went there and talked to her about it and everything and just, 
we didn't have much to discuss because we were kind of, you know, but I was ready to anything that I needed help on. Um, I went ahead and started going to the tutoring center again. Um, one of the things um, my professor told me, don't just go over your notes um, like any other class. Um, in the history, you just go over your notes and you're good. But in math, it's you have to show your work. So it's not the same thing, okay, following the problem, I get it. But whenever it comes to the test or to the homework, it's not gonna be the same scenario. So you have to make sure that you have to recreate the problem again uh, without looking at your notes. And that's when I'm like, okay, that's what I messed up in the first time. Uh, I went over my notes, I felt confident, I got it. But whenever I was presented with a whole complete uh, problem, um, I went blank and you know that that was no help for me. With my other classes you know I've learned when their office hours are and been to see them and things like that. I don't really have as much trouble in those. The math is what really has been tough for me in college so that's what I needed the most help on. The other classes I, I, pretty, I do pretty well in but I have been to see them when I'm struggling on a certain topic in, in, in like a science class or something like that and I'll go and see my professor but it's the math that I really needed the, a lot of help on and Miss Yasko can uh, all, I hear a lot of her students saying you know that she seems intimidating and stuff and I was kind of that way at first she kind of you know I, I didn't want to go in there I kind of felt like I was kind of stupid you know asking stupid questions and stuff but after a little while it you know the way she helps you it really you know the environment is is nice and it's it really helps you know with my confidence in the class and everything um, and that helped me to approach my other professors as well and previously I did take uh, trigonometry with her my first semester that I attended here right out of high school and I felt that pr class pretty bad and if I would have you know known what I do now I would have passed it so then that's in my algebra class that I took with her, I saw myself going down that same path, you know, after that first test, and that's when I knew also that you know, I'm not going to do that again. So, um, just listening class to uh, don't try to jot down every little thing, you know, because she puts the lectures online. So really listen to what she's putting up on the board there, and you know, figure out how she's doing it. And then anything you missed or you don't know, go to the office hours or even the tutoring center. You know, anywhere if you feel better there or, you know, or even your classmate just goes to someone else for help if you're struggling. You know, and do the, the homework from the beginning too, I kind of slacked on that. It's not as important as the test, but it's practice, so, and she gives you a lot of tries on it. So it's basically, you know, a free grade if you just, you know, do it and it'll help you understand what to do on the test. I started um, doing test um, exams. I also started uh, from my homework, I picked up problems and I redid them again. Um, after I have gone to the tutoring center, they will help me, but I will make sure that I was able to do it by myself, recreate that problem and get the same answer by myself. Um, and that ultimately, whenever I came around on my second exam, I saw that, okay, I'm going on the right route. I passed this time, uh, which to me, that motivate me to I have to keep on. I have worked so hard for this. I just need to finish it um, and, and get it done. Ultimately, the thing that I would advise a student that is struggling in math is um, don't give up, don't panic. Um, because for my very first time, I experienced what was panicking on an exam. Um, so I would tell them don't panic. Uh, make sure that you just don't give up. Don't have that mentality of, of giving up. Look for sources, look for help. Your instructor always will guide you. If you pay attention, um, all the tools are given to you. Um, for my experience, um, we can go back and look at the lectures. That is very helpful. We had the notes uh, right from what she had worked on class. That was also very helpful. Um, search for tools that will help you uh, throughout the course.